Hey guys, it's Steven with Practical Family Projects where we aim to help you tackle those indoor, outdoor, home DIY, and craft projects. As you can see right now, the wife is pressure washing the patio. We're doing a video on how to wire up a new receptacle or relocate a receptacle in your house. So uh, if you like it, please hit the thumbs up, please hit the subscribe button, and as always, the uh, products that we use will be linked down in the description below. So for this project, we're gonna need a receptacle, a cover plate. We got our level, pair of pliers, wire strippers, needle nose, flat tip screwdriver, hole saw, and this is gonna be a cut-in box. Not a new construction box, but a cut-in box for an electrical outlet or for uh, a single gang um, outlet or, or switch. Um, it's just a single cut-in box. You can get these at Home Depot. And so what we've done already is we marked where we wanted to plug the receptacle and we put this on the wall and we made it level. All right, so once we got it level, then, let me pull the screw back. Once we got it level, then we just took a pencil and we marked the outside of it, connected the dots, and then took the hole saw, took the hole saw and cut it out. And we may have a little bit of trimming to do in a minute, but we'll see. Um, I never get them right the first time. So we have two cables or two um, wires coming in here, two set of wires coming in here. So this wire is continuation from the plug over there on the other side. Sorry guys, couldn't see that. So this wire is coming from the plug over here on the other side. So plugs generally are daisy chained together in a house. So daisy chain meaning they connect them from one plug to the other. So they'll be powered to one plug and then they carry that power through the wire to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. So this, this receptacle right here the power is coming from down the wall, and that's this one, and I've labeled it power. So one key thing to always do is label the wire when you're working with it. So this is our power. This is going to be the wire that connects to the next plug. So we'll need to connect both of these. That way, when we turn the power back on, we, we have power to this plug, and then it transfers the power from this plug to that plug on the other side. Um, so we're gonna do that right now. So first thing you wanna do, is push the knockouts in the back in. And then we'll push the wire through. So the power is coming from up above, so I'm gonna put it on top. And the other receptacle, I'm gonna put on the bottom. All right, so now what we do is we take and we tighten these screws up and those little flanges will lift up behind there and then they'll pull tight on the back side of the sheetrock. All right, so now these cables are way too long. So what we're going to do, these cables, these wires are way too long. So what we're going to do is cut them down. Let me get my knife and I will also need some wire nuts. So I'll get those as well. All right, so be very careful when doing this. So power for us is on the right. The other plug is on the left. So make sure you keep, keep those in order. Be careful when you do this. So you can cut it right down the middle gently. Don't cut too deep because you'll mess up the wire. But if you just cut it down the middle all the way to the end, then you can peel it back the plastic back or the outer co uh, cover peel the paper that'll come off usually and then there's one on the ground there you go do the same thing on the other one and again like I said before this is more wire than we need so we're gonna cut this off All right here Okay. Now we're going to use our wire strippers. So this is number 12 wire. So it's kind of hard to see because I've had these for a while, but there's the number 12 slot. 
So we're gonna take and put it there, pull that off, pull that one off. Now we're going to wrap the ground back here. I'm going to cut this one a little short. So what we're going to do is take our pliers, wrap that up. All right, so the reason we cut that one short is because we're gonna use this end to connect to the ground on the receptacle. So the green is the ground on the receptacle, and we're gonna cover that in a minute. So this one's ready to go. And we'll have the neutrals on this side and the power on this side. Okay, so here's our receptacle. You have the brass screws on this side or the gold screws on this side. That's the hot. So it's gonna be hard to see right now, but if you look on there, it says hot right there. On the other side is the neutral, and they are silver uh, screws on that side. So there's two ways to hook it up. This, this, this receptacle um, is uh, um, what Home Depot calls the preferred receptacle. So on the silver screws, we're gonna hook up the the white wires, the neutral wires. So you can either, you see those little brackets right there? You can either slide it in there or we can loop it around this screw. So we can either loop it around this screw or we can just slide it right in behind that bracket. I like to just slide it in right behind that bracket because it's a lot easier, but I'm gonna show you how to do both of them, okay? I'll show you with the hot just because of where the camera's set up. So let me get the neutral set hooked up and then we'll hook up the hot side. And then I said I was going to show you. So this one is the ground, the green one. So we're going to make a little loop on the ground like this. And it's taken me a long time to figure out what that loop needs to look like, but that's about what it needs to look like. And then it should go on nice and clean. And then you can tighten it down. You can kind of grab it and squeeze it with your needle nose. I always have trouble with this. Oh, there, got it. Perfect. And we'll tighten that down. You wanna make sure that everything is tight when you're putting the receptacle in. All right, now we're gonna slide the neutrals in. And I try to line them up to keep them the same, or I do line them up so if this is the power, it can be on the bottom or top, but I try to keep, we keep the neutrals together with the power. So the, the power neutral is on the bottom, the power, power, the power hot is on the bottom. The plug neutral is on the top, then the plug uh, hot is on the top. Okay, so now we got the neutrals hooked up. I said I was gonna go two options on the hot side. So, We'll do the bracket where we just slide it in and tighten it down. And then we'll do the other way, which is kind of old school way, which is where you actually make a loop and you put it around the screw and then you tighten the screw down on top of it. I'll show you how to do both of them. Depending on what, which receptacle you buy, it, if you buy just the regular ones, not the per, quote unquote preferred ones from Home Depot, they won't have the bracket there. So if you uh, buy just the, they're a little bit less expensive. I like to pay for the preferred ones because it just goes a little faster, but it's not, not a big deal. So you make a little loop, and then I always like to use the needle nose to hold it because it's just easier than my fingers getting in the way. And then you're gonna kind of slide it in there. So I made this loop a little too tight, uh, maybe a little big, but we're just gonna loosen it up a little or widen it up a little bit and then sneak it on there, just like that. And then if we take our needle nose, we should be able to grab the wire. Have to get creative sometimes. 
uh, we had it. And we tighten it down like that. And if you can hear right now, the wife is literally right outside the window pressure washing the patio off. So we're going to tighten this down. Just like that. You want to get pretty tight. Alright, so that's with the loop option. But since this one has the bracket, let's show you that. So let me make sure this is straight. And we're going to slide this in here. Oh, I pushed it over. We'll slide this in here and you get it in there and you can see hopefully you can see if I get my hand out of the way I apologize it was blurry so you can see now we have that wire right behind the bracket so now the wire comes straight in behind the bracket we're gonna tighten the screw the screw will put pressure on the bracket and it'll crimp that wire right down Let's do that real quick. And there you go. Now, if you had another plug that was daisy chained off of this plug, meaning you had power coming down, you had, pa you had a wire going to a receptacle this way, but then you might have wire going to a receptacle this way. It would be the same process. These spots have, have uh, space for two wires that you can put in. There's even, and I should have showed you this before, not on this one, but on some of them, they even have a hole in the back where you can just snap them in. I don't like to use that. I like to use the screws on the side with the clamps. So if you have, the clamps actually have two um, edges on them, one on the top and one on the bottom to where you could put two, another wire in here and go to another plug. Um, so we, I don't see that very often, but it happens. So now we're gonna kinda just bend the wires a little bit. Usually I just try to push them up a little bit and then when I push it in, it kind of just folds right back in there. Just like that. All right, so we got our plug in place. We're gonna take our cover plate. It's got a screw in the middle. The receptacle has a hole in the middle a threaded nut in the middle and we're just going to tighten that down we'll have to hold it so it'll quit spinning there you go a little dirty wipe it off and plugs done hey guys we hope you enjoyed the video just a quick, simple tutorial on how to wire up a receptacle. We relocated this receptacle uh, because we were moving a bathroom door. We hope you enjoyed the video. We hope we walked you through it. Definitely be careful when working with electrical. Um, we are not experts at by no means. We're just redoing and putting it back to where it was. If you have any big issues or any concerns, definitely contact an, uh, an electrician uh, to be on the safe side. Make sure all the power is off and be very careful. We hope you enjoyed the video. We hope hoped you learned something. Uh, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Comment below. Um, if you like uh, the uh, video and you want to see other videos, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you see notification for any future videos. Guys, we really appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next project.